you got some advent candles. What are you going to do with them? You could make a wreath. Our own pastor, David, says the wreath is traditional. He says it recalls the use of wreaths made on wagon wheels in the Northern Hemisphere during the season when fields lay idle and farm work was unnecessary. It was a kind of recognition of putting aside work to focus on God, much like a Sabbath day reflects a day devoted to God instead of work for self. He says, the wreath has deep and long meaning. That said, the wreath is merely a vehicle for the candles, focusing time on counting toward God's incarnation in Jesus, our Christ. So, how are you gonna make an Advent wreath? Here are a few examples of people in the congregation who've made traditional wreaths and some less traditional. Here are some ideas to make Advent wreaths out of things you might have around your home. This first wreath uses hex nuts. These are three quarter inch size. And I only got four because I was confused about Advent when I bought them. You can see, you can get the candles in there. You kind of have to push them in there. But they go. I'm gonna use the pink. Pink is hardest for some reason. And there you go. The next idea is using a bowl filled with sand. So I found a lovely bowl that I have, filled it with some desert box sand, and attempted to put the candles in. Yeah, this was too shallow, so I had to go find another bowl. Might not be as pretty. So a mixing bowl works. Pour that desert sand in there. Let's see if this is deep enough. Looks like it. And if you had a neater looking bowl, it might even look better. But that looks good. That's kind of fun. Ah, yes. Next is working with floral foam. I don't really know how that works, so I think you have to get it wet and just kind of shove the candles in there. Um, next time I'd probably use bigger chunks of floral foam. It didn't really hold them up like it was supposed to. But I gave it a good try. Finding some cans give kind of a deconstructed look. Yeah, and maybe you know how to use floral, floral foam a little bit better. There's the pink candle. Oh, hey boo, what's up? Yeah, see how they're kind of tipping around. So maybe that's not the best way. Let's try sand. Yep, the sand works a lot better. I recommend sand. Ooh, a brick. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll comment on it. This is an old brick, so the holes were kind of not uniform. It was hard to get the candles in there, but it worked, sort of. <laughs> the next item to use is a wine bottle. I only had one. Maybe you have more, no judgment. Maybe you even have a wine advent calendar. You could use the empty bottles for this. It fits pretty nicely. Have fun making your advent wreath. I hope it brings you peace, joy, hope, and love.